Hello everyone. Good day to all of you, grade 7 boys and girls. Today we shall be discussing the booklet answers. Okay, from uh, page 27 until the last page of the booklet, which is page 35. Okay, so let's get ready and start answering our booklet. So on first uh, on page 27, we we can see there the title or the heading revision sheet. This will be for the booklet contents, okay, and the book contents as well. Now you may revise from here, and you will be given another set of revision sheet. Okay, so first is who said this in the story? Steer forth. Dora Spanlow, Daniel Pegotti, Mr. Murdstone, Betsy Trotwood, Mr. Dick Borkes, Mr. Micawber, Ham Pegotti, or Uriah Hip. Let's take the first one. Be firm. You're making the boy's character worse by helping him like that. Okay, so uh, this was said by Mr. Murdstone, correct? And for letter B, Barkis is willing. Okay, who said that? Mr. Barkis. Okay, Barkis told uh, David, young David, that Barkis is willing and he wants it to be relayed to Clara Pegatti. Okay, so let us see if a man earns 20 pounds a year and spends 19 pounds and 19 shillings. The result is happiness. Okay, Mr. Micawber told David letter C while he was in the prison cell. Letter D, get a suit of clothes made for him immediately. So who said that? Mr. Dick. Letter E, I'm much too humble for that. Okay, Uriah Hip uh, told David about this. And the next one is letter F. Thank you, David, but you don't know how bad I am. So Steerforth, James Steerforth, the uh, classmate and friend of uh, David while he was in Salem House. Okay, and who played an important role to him until his adult life and until the end of the storybook. Okay, somehow before the end, okay, which caused him to go to another place and leave England for a while. And however, eventually we all know that he came back for to start a new life. Letter G. Daniel Pegotti said, I wish I drowned him when I had a chance. Okay, letter H. Oh, David, blind, blind, blind. Who said that? It's Aunt Betsy, right. Letter I. Uh, don't talk of bread and hard work. I hardly ever eat bread. I don't understand. So who said that? Dora Spenlow. Okay, the child wife of David. I'm going in. Give me more rope. Letter J. Who said that? Ham Peggotty. Uh, while he was trying to save a sailor who was nearly drowning. And uh, eventually it's, uh, apparently it's James Stewart. Okay. The same page. Okay, number two. Are these sentences true or false? So we have five items here. Letter A. Mr. Murdstone married David's mother. Yeah, we all know it's true. B, Clara Pegotti married Barkis. We all know that it's also true. David married Agnes Wickfield. Letter C, in the end, yes, it's true. Okay. Letter D, Steerforth married Emily. No, he didn't. And that's the reason why Emily left Italy. And she returned to London where Daniel found her. Okay, letter E. Ham Peggotty married Emily. False. It, they almost got married. They were engaged, but it didn't come to 
activity. Let us try to go to page 28. Okay, it starts with number three, where did they live? Match a number from column A with a letter from column B. Okay, Daniel Pegatti lived in an old ship in Yarmouth. So the answer is B. Okay, for number two, Betsy Trotwood lived in a large country house just outside London. Okay. No. They live, she lived in Dover, remember, in Kent. So for number two, Betsy Trotwood lived in a cottage near Dover. Okay, so number two, the answer is E. Number three, Mr. Wakefield and his daughter Agnes lived in an old house in Canterbury, letter A. Number four, Mr. Spenlow and his daughter Dora lived in a large country house just outside London. Okay, this is where Mr. Spenlow and his daughter Dora lived. Let's go to number five. The McCovers lived in a cottage, oh, in a rather dirty rented house in London. That was at first. Okay, so let's, the answer is for number five, letter D. So that's, let's go to the next part, which is on the same page, 28, number four. Which adjectives best describe these people in the book? Our choices are innocent, cold, calm, and gentle, cheerful, oily. Letter A, we all know, we read it how many times from the storybook that David described Uriah Heep as a person wearing an oily smile. So letter A, Uriah Heep is oily. B, Dora Spenlow is innocent, the child wife, innocent. Letter C, Agnes Wickfield is calm and gentle, always. She gives advice to David and that's how kind she uh, is to David. Letter D, Mr. Murdstone is, has a cold personality. Cold. And letter E, Treadles. Treadles is a cheerful friend of David from Salem House until the last part of start the story when uh, Treadles uh, um, replaced Uriah Heep as the assistant of Mr. Wickfield. Okay, so let's go to number five. Put the sentences into the right order. Number them one to five. So let's see. After having gone through all the sentences, number one or the first, okay, the first uh, sentence should be letter C. That evening, I was returning from the theater when I recognized someone going into the hotel. And the next sentence, the next incident was letter E. They welcomed him warmly as my best friend. All right, and then uh, we have the third sentence, which should be letter A. We watched him walking along the London road until he disappeared from sight. And let number four should be letter D. His clothes were dusty and he looked older than before, with white hair escaping untidily from under his hat. And number five should be letter B. He and Emily have made friends there and are happy in Australia. They're referring to Daniel and Emily. Okay, so um, the answers are, okay, three, five, one, four, two. Okay, A is three, B is five, C is one, D is four, E is two. And that's it. Let's go to the next page, which is on page 20. Where are we? Page 29, right? Okay. For page 29, we are supposed to have a multiple choice test. Okay. For the multiple choice test questions, we have here... David Copperfield's father died when? When do you think he died? 